and welcome. Today we're making a brush, a haraf, a khubz and basis. Um, actually, it's anybody, everybody calls it different names. So it's actually a semolina stuffed with a date. It's like maqrood, but it's not maqrood. So we need 500 grams of uh, very thin semolina dates, a little bit of uh, baking powder, half a cup of uh, melted butter, and this one it's uh, water mixed with um, rose water or blossom water, whatever you have. So we're just going to start for a little bit. You're going to see how much I'm going to put like a, like half a teaspoon. You can put a half a teaspoon of baking powder and then I put butter. You can put olive oil if you want to, but the butter makes it uh, more like a, more soft, soft than uh, the, uh, the oil. So we're just going to mix, make sure all the semolina observe the, the butter. So we can use our hands after the, just mix a little bit and then you can use your hand just to get the feel. So you're going to feel it's going to turn to like a, like sand, you know, like wet sand like that. So keep doing that with your, uh, with your fingers. This recipe you can, you can use the same thing without the date or you can stuff it with the date. So both, uh, you can use uh, both ways, it means either way. So you just make sure all the butter is in. Now we're going to add the first uh, step for the water. That one is the one that mixed with the uh, blossom water. You see in there, um, I'm not using my pine or like my whole hand, only my fingers. You need to use only your fingers. See, only your fingers. It's not, we're not looking for dough or, uh, you know, just we want it to, everything combined together. Keep using your fingers like that. We're going to add a little more water. Just the water, just add little by little. Do not put the whole thing in one shot. Just put little by little. See, the more the more you mix, the more it become like a, it's going to come to like a ball. It's not a crumble D anymore. Because usually semolina observe more water than um, flour. See, I'm, I feel it more, uh, it's not soft. So I'm just going to add a little water just to make it like soft. You want like a soft dough. Um, it's not a dough, but it just, you know, you want to, the feeling has to be soft. See, it's not crumbled. Now it's like turned to a, like a ball. That's it. We're not going to add no more water. I'm going to divide it to two. Um, total water, probably half a cup of water. Include uh, the uh, blossom water. So I'm just going to put it on the side. And I take the date. The date, if you're, you don't have it. Uh, the date, uh, you can buy it like that, uh, date paste. If you can't find it in a store, you can just buy normal dates from the supermarket. Put on a double boiler like a steamer. Let it steam maybe for 10 minutes or maybe less. It will get very soft. And then you just uh, smush it with a fork or something. And that's it. And that's how you have uh, a date paste. 
So now take your time, try to roll it. Doesn't have to be perfect. Because it's a little hard. The one I have, I just took it from the fridge, so it's a little hard to roll. Take yours as like before. If you have it in the fridge, take it like maybe half hour before you start working with. So it'll be more uh, easy to roll. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep rolling. Now I rolled the first one. You don't have to put uh, parchment paper under this one because this is the bottom. And now we're going to take, that's why I said to put parchment paper so it doesn't stick. It helps put them up together. So we're going to put uh, the date between the two layers. So I'm going to make another layer on top of that. Just peel the paper. It's easy to do. Doesn't have to be perfect, like I said, because we're going to cut them to... Uh, squares tap on it now we're gonna open the gonna roll the other part the other part you need the parchment paper so you can flip it over it's easier for you to do that because if you put it on without the parchment paper it's gonna stick and it's not gonna it's going to be hard to do that. So now you're just going to put it over it. Tap on it a little bit so it's thick or maybe you can like put the roller like that a couple of times on it and then we're gonna cut it it means I'm gonna cut it to square shapes you can cut them to round shapes or um, diamond shapes hard shapes any shapes you want can get a, a sharp knife and you can do it with a knife or you can do it with a cookie cutter or anything anything you have or like a pizza cutter These I'm not going to cook them in the oven, you just need a non-stick uh, pan, preheat that, make sure it's hot, and we're just going to put it in the, in the pan and cook them that way. No oil, you don't need no oil, you don't need anything, just going to put them in the pan and cook them that, that way.
you can put those aside and then you can cook them later or you can fry them it's up to you it'll be like a little makrood you see like that now that the color it's like very uh like yellowish color so for you to tell they cooked that they they become like more um white white color with a brown golden brown color to it keep flipping them over and over and that's it that don't take much to cook so probably around 10 minutes so this is how they look like you can serve them with coffee you can serve them with tea you can just eat them like that so i hope you will like this video and if you do don't forget to give me a like and I will see you in the next video. Enjoy. Bye-bye.